everyone, I'm Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog and today I've got a couple highlights from the Tarte Holiday 2015 collection and girl, these are giving me all of the feels. So much feels. So these are so cute. I just love the packaging and I think that the colors and the products and the items are just really well thought out and pretty reasonably priced. Both of these kits are less than $60, which is still, you know, on the pricier end, but for what you get, it's a pretty good deal. So they're both available now. This set is Light of the Party, and it's available exclusively at Sephora. And this is Greatest Glitz, which is available, available, available <laughs> exclusively at Ulta. So let's get into it, shall we? So the first one is Light of the Party, and here is the case. It's a zippered case. This is $59, and like I said, it was, this is a Sephora exclusive, and you just open it up like this, and when you pop it open, oh, hopefully that doesn't happen. But you've got a palette of eyeshadows on one side, and on the other side, there's a mascara and a brush, and then this travel palette. When this pops out, there's a mirror, which I'm not gonna show you, because then we'd just be looking at each other. Um, but in, inside the travel palette, there are more eyeshadows, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. And this is what I'm wearing on my face right now. Like, when I saw these colors, I just got really excited. You know, I'm a neutrals kind of girl. I love me some browns and just, I just really was very psyched to wear this. I didn't know where to start. I ended up going with like a brown smoky eye. This was actually inspired by a makeup tutorial I watched this morning. It's by Monica Blunder, who's a celebrity makeup artist. Um, she just recently did like a brown smoky Cara Delevingne look. I'll link it, hmm, where shall I link it? Maybe right over here. Just so you can check that out if you wanna try this look for yourself. So yeah, I'm wearing this set on my eyes and cheeks, on my lips, I'm wearing, what am I wearing? Something from MAC Holiday 2015. I'll link it in the description box down below. So, oh, and the lashes are NARS, numero fives. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, getting back to this kit, there are total 24 eyeshadows, including the ones in the travel palette. One bronzer, one blush, a highlighter, a dual-ended blush, brush, which, dude, is surprisingly legit. Usually, like, I get these brushes from these kits and I end up tossing them. But this one has, like, a blending, do um, a fluffy blending brush on one side and more of, like, a flat domed brush on the other. Not flat, but, like, a domed brush on the other. And it's very soft and completely usable. The mascara, um, more for natural looks. I like, though, how this builds and doesn't, like... So... What I like about this kit though, overall, is that I think that there are just so many possibilities. I think it's really well balanced. Let me show you the swatches. There's a good amount of mattes and shimmers, some warm tones and some cool tones, and some colors for every day and for going out. Yeah, there's so many colors that I couldn't even like put them on one hand. I had to like go over here onto my arm. So hopefully you can see this. So I think that these colors more are better for like traditionally pretty makeup in quotes. So if you kind of like to wear stuff that's pretty wearable, which is the style that I like, these are colors that you might like. However, if you are all about edgy and editorial, like let's get on, let's be real. These colors just might bore you to freaking tears. However, I think that this is still, I think this is a great palette to have. I love that it's so thoughtful. I mean, I love the zipper case. I think that that's, just a really cute touch and how you can, let's just take this mascara off before it falls, how these colors, you can keep this main palette at home and then pop this off when you want to go somewhere, if you're traveling or if you just want some shadows to touch up with throughout the day. I just really enjoy it. And um, as for the other products, let's see, let's talk about these eyeshadows for a second. So within the past couple of seasons, um, Tarte's become a lot more consistent, I think, in terms of their quality of the shadows. Before that, I felt that they were hit and miss. But now, I feel like they've gotten really good and very consistent, which I appreciate. The shadows have a medium to full coverage, and they are really easy to blend. And I think a big reason is because I, they're what I like to call fluffy, in that when you run a brush across the top, boop, a lot of the powder tends to get kicked up. And in one way, this is kind of a bummer, because if you're not careful about um, tapping your brush off, you can get some fallout. But um, on the other hand, it 
allows the powders, the shadows to merge seamlessly onto the lids. I don't have a problem with blending these. I think that they're really easy to blend and I think that's one of the reasons why this kit is great for beginners. Also, you've got a lot of set colors that, you know, are great beginner colors that are easy to work with. So yeah, this is so good. I mean, I, I can see myself buying this for someone like my friend Jen who loves makeup but isn't necessarily hardcore, hardcore with her makeup looks, but I think she'd really enjoy this. But then I would be like, I will keep it for myself. Shh, that's what I would do. Okay, now you know my secret. The second kit we have is Greatest Glitz. And this is called Greatest Glitz Collector Set and Portable Palettes. This is $49 and it is an Ulta exclusive. Okay, granted, I haven't had the chance to wear this yet, but I swatched it on the back of my hand, a little messily. I'm sorry, my bad. Um, but I was very excited about it as well. So you can see all the colors and yes, I had to go over here. <laughs> okay, so here's the packaging. It's this beautiful rose gold box and then we've got like sequins. It's very girly, which I love. And when you open it up, uh, this pops open and then there's a mirror, which I'm gonna cover because you don't wanna be blinded by lights. Blinded by the light. That was terrible. Anyways, there's these three kits and these pop out. And then there's like this little drawer here with a mini mascara and a lip surgeons. And the shade is flashy. So let's pop out the mini kits. Okay, so there's three of them. There's a gold one right here and then rose gold and silver. So when you open these up, each one has um, let's just get them all open at the same time so I can show you. Um, each kit has eight powder eyeshadows and then one powder blush, giving you 24 shadows, shadows total and three blushes. Now this has set has a lot of the same things that I like about Light of the Party. I think that there's a good amount of, I'm sorry, I'm covering up this blush right here. There's a good amount of neutrals and shimmers and mattes and um, neutrals, neutrals and brighter colors and mattes and shimmers. So I like the way that this one is set up and I think it's set up in a way that is better for beginners. Like, you know, with those big overwhelming eyeshadow palettes, I feel like if you are a beginner and you don't know anything about makeup, it can be intimidating. Like, what do you wear with what? Where do you go? That there's so many colors and so many possibilities. But when you have self-contained kits like these, it just makes your job easier. You know, you have an idea of like, you can see a clear path of like, oh, this goes with this and this goes with that. And I can wear this with this blush. So it just makes it a lot easier, I think, if you are just starting out and you don't know exactly where you want to go. So the mini kits are self-contained, which is awesome. And it just makes it easier. And I also like that when they close down, they're very, very slim, which makes them easy for traveling. So I think that this kit or this set might be a good one to consider if you have a lot of girls in your family you know you can always just break it up you can gift each of these sets to each of your girls and then throw the mascara and the lip surgeons into a stocking for fun and then just keep this for yourself ha you could do that i won't tell anyone i have more pics of these kits on the blog right now so head on over to mbb and check that out and thank you again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Dance. <gasps> there you are. Rolling down the street, petting kitties, sipping on tea and juice. Laid back with my hands on my tabby and my tabby and my mind.